this content is for kids. It's not for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If you return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septum Sen vs. the World. I'm Septum Sen. This is Kotobuki Jake. Hi. We're here to show you what we got. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a lot of fun stuff this time. Mm -hmm. About six pickups this time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess lead us all. Okay, and I'm going to be slightly random here because the way I had to pack this bag, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so this one, let's see what we got first of all. Oh, Scrubs Season 2. These, these I think, are all library pickups. I'll let you know if there are any exceptions. But anyway, so I picked up Season 1 way back when, so now I have two. This was a fun show. It was not the best show out there, but it was fun. And especially the first, was it three or four seasons, I guess. It was one of those ones, you know, a lot of shows do that. They start mm -hmm. off strong and kind of, you know, a little bit, but... um. It was a it's fun good show. Times. Yes, especially uh, I think John C. <clears throat> McGinley's character, if I remember correctly, was the uh, what was his character? Mm -hmm. The one that was always giving the main dude a hard time. He was <laughs> fun. <laughs> well, I've got a video game pickup. Ooh. Yes, I finally picked up for 20 bucks Days Gone. Which is a PS4 exclusive game about the zombie apocalypse. Mm. As you do. And uh, where you go around on a motorcycle, killing zombies. As you do. And uh, <laughs> one of the biggest features of this game was the size of the zombie hordes. Mm. You got to see this video online that they, were, that they had of these like zombies just kind of flowing out of this train car at them. And meanwhile the thought is oh shit yeah. and uh, that was uh, that's the whole of it uh, it's usually what I think when I see zombies just doing that this was kind of middling and I wasn't going to buy it full price because of the reviews but for 20 bucks I'm kind of glad to have it in the collection finally mm -hmm. alright the next one up is one that uh, I've only seen the first episode they actually included it as a bonus feature on uh at least certain editions of Downton Abbey Season 6. and I've, But I've heard a lot about it. It's super popular at the library. And I'm excited to see it. And this is Season 3. Sadly, Season 3, but whatever. <laughs> season 3 of Poldark. Ah. Series with Aiden Turner. Uh, and it's a pretty good... Like I said, I saw the first episode. But it was a very well done episode. Mm. It's a um, historical drama that is... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. Obviously, I'll have to get a couple more seasons <laughs> first. But I could not pass it up for the price. <laughs> but you're not going to dive in at season three? Oh, <laughs> uh, well... My next one is... There's going to be some consolidation picks. Yeah. I'm on another consolidation binge. I'm trying to save room in my collection. Mm -hmm. And if I can, I will consolidate room. And one of those consolidations is the Lost Boys collection Ooh. on Blu-ray. It's actually an upgrade because they have a lot of the special features from the original discs. Mm. And uh, so there were three movies. One that was, of course, the famous one. And I'll put the... Cause I'll show you the, the ones there. So, I mean, your first one, of course, this is the original. Pretty awesome one. It's a classic vampire tale. Mm -hmm. uh, both of the Corys, the Corey Feldman, Corey Haim, mm -hmm. uh, in this, about these uh, kids, they moved to f this place in, um, in California, 
and it's kind of a trashy place but with you know your seaside amusement parks as you do and uh, there are vampires killing people as they do but there are these kind of young youthful vampires kind of like there's there's almost nothing like it before really mm -hmm. Of just this gang of youths that I was going around and doing this crap. And one of our main characters, our teenager here, gets kind of drawn in with the vampire crowd and has to choose at the end between, you know, good and evil. And there was mm -hmm. a little bit of a twist at the end, which was kind of cool. So it was just Doesn't kind of that cool one thing. feature like a super famous musical uh, number? Like mm. the. Uh, I don't know. It's Joel Schumacher, though. Ah. It's probably one of his earliest films. So, yeah. Hmm. But uh, this is an old case, yeah. this one. Yeah. yeah. So, I cannot uh, remember that. And the second one, it's uh, this thing called The Tribe. It's mm -hmm. uh, a lot later. I mean, you can tell by the look of Corey Feldman in this. I mean, take a look at how he... I mean, you can tell he's much yeah. older in that. And... Uh, yeah, still, it was kind of cool to see, and I want to say that this was around the time that Corey Haim killed himself. Hmm. I don't know when he did. It wasn't that long. It was around that time because I think part of it was he. Part of that was he thought he was going to be invited back, and he wasn't invited back hmm. because of a lot of his drug issues. But I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'm wrong a lot, so correct me. <laughs> I, I am too lazy to look it up. Any case, uh, still, it continues on. Some more concepts. You know, the frog boys doing their vampire hunting. Mm -hmm. But the last one was uh, the uh, thirst, which has this strange vampire drug, mm -hmm. which allows people to like, kind of temporarily become vampires and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, Again, they're fun films. Mm -hmm. This one is a classic. I, I, this should go in anybody's collection, but these are kind of fun. These are kind of fun, trashy horror films. Mm -hmm. If you haven't watched them, you, you should, just as a mm -hmm. fun thing. And yeah. that's better than yeah. the... Uh, there's actually at least two vampire films called Thirst. <laughs> and the Korean one's pretty impressive. Yeah. But the other one, not so much. I'm <laughs> sure this one's <laughs> better than that, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, my next one is, ooh, this is fun. This is a Kino release, actually, and it's called Cavalcade of Comedy, ah. the Paramount Comedy Shorts, 1929 to 33. So we've got uh, Fit to be Tied, George Burns and Gracie Allen, Getting a Ticket with Eddie Cantor, Broadway Romeo with Jack Benny, What Price Pants, <laughs> Smith and Dale, it Might Be Worse with George Jessel, Sing Bing Sing with Bing Crosby, The Introduction of Miss Gibbs with Lulu McConnell, The African <coughs> Dodger with Tom Howard, Cleaning Up with Chester Conklin, Max Swain, and Gibson Goland, The Plasterers with Charles O'Donnell and Jack Blair, Plastered with <laughs> Willie West and McGinty, A Put-Up Job with Carl Dane and George K. Arthur, Lighthouse Love with Franklin Pangborn, Max Swain, and Ben Turpin. Breaking Even with Tom Howard, 100% Service with George Burns and Gracie Allen. And Poppin' the Cork with Milton <coughs> Berle. So, ah, that could be a pretty good assortment there. And um, <clears throat> apparently 216 minutes total. So I guess they are kind of short films. But I saw that, I was like, okay, that oh, I need some fun classic. Collect, yeah. yeah. They, they are fun to collect those. And as we said in this week's uh, new release video, Kino does do a lot of these mm -hmm. nice collections. It's good to grab them <laughs> when you can. <laughs> so, my next one is one I know that you're going to love. Ah. That's the Wrong Turn Collection. Uh, screw that noise. One through six. <laughs> six had some issues with it that caused it to be retracted. So this one is one of those that was released along the same time Last Resort had come out so this is actually out of print much mm. like um, the original releases of Six huh. and Wrong Turn is essentially hillbilly horror it is pretty horrifying and not in a good way so these people, the, the original one, they these people take the wrong turn and end up uh, in hillbilly country 
and these evil hillbillies come hunt them down and mm-hmm. uh, kill them mm-hmm. in horrific ways. And it kind of gets mm-hmm. more horrific towards the end. Mm. I didn't mind some of these, and I'll show you my uh, <sighs> things now. That one was the Lost Boys saved some room, but look at this room. Yeah, that saved some room. That's one heck of a bit of room. So, just to show you what we've got here, we've got um, the original Wrong Turn. Mm-hmm. I actually really like this one. It's a fun classic slasher comic. And that one's Eliza Dushku, right? Let's see here. I don't know. What to... The um, let's we'll see on here. Yeah, Eliza Dushku. I actually did have a uh, a classmate who reminded me a lot of her. So that was both a plus and a minus when I was watching this. <laughs> I did watch this one and absolutely hated it. And never touched the rest it's the of the only, series. It's the only R-rated one there. The rest of them are unrated. Ugh. So then there's Wrong Turn 2, which is kind of more of the same. Hmm. So, you know. There. Then there's Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead. Again, more of the same. This one I really liked. I really mm. liked Bloody Beginnings because it shows them kind of breaking out of an asylum. Like an old mm. asylum. They kind of butchered people in the asylum. So they weren't mm. just regular hillbillies. They were hillbilly, like, uh, insane asylum. Hillbilly animals. deluxe. <laughs> so, you know, and uh, some teenagers were, were going around to party in the old asylum as they do. Oh, as they do. And uh, ended up getting, uh, you know, slaughtered. So then there's this one, which happened uh, during a kind of town party. So they, the, the rednecks come to have a party and kill mm. people. And this one is about a kind of uh, old school resort. Now this one, I, I will admit, it pushes it too far for me. This mm. takes the gore factor up. This series mm. does. Which is why he has a problem with it, probably. Among um, other reasons. This... <sighs> Incest, rape, torture, and uh, lots of gore at the same time. This, you know, for kids. Yeah, this is probably <laughs> my least favorite of the series. Ah, so I don't know what the edited version, because they re-edited it before re-releasing it again. I don't know what they did, but it probably was an improvement. I'm not going to (laughs) lie. But it's good to have these consolidated. I don't think they're going to make any more, which is good as far as I'm concerned, until they decide to say, oh, we need a reboot. They will probably reboot it at some point. They reboot everything at some point. Mm. Unfortunately. Technically, this is a reboot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, my turn? Yep. Okay, now, if you thought that last collection had a lot on it, later you see this one. <laughs> this is Martial Arts cla- 50 Classic Favorites. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I figured I had to pick this up in case Dave wants to do a lot more old school martial arts on the channel. Because <laughs> this will have a lot of... Uh... So, this has a number of films dating mostly from the 70s and 80s. It looks like there might be... No, it looks like it's basically the 70s and 80s. Huh. And we got The Big Fight <coughs> with Rock Tin, Black Cobra, Black Cobra 2, and Black Cobra 3 with Fred Williamson, Black Fist with Richard Lawson, The Black Godfather with Rod Perry, huh. Brave Lion with Wei Tzu Young, Breakout from Oppression with Lona Chang, Lord. Chase Step by <laughs> Step with Chi Kung, uh, City Ninja with Michael Chan, Day of the Panther with Edward John Stasek. Uh, <laughs> Deadly Duo, David Chang. Fighting Mad with Leon Isaac Kennedy. Four Robbers with Sheck Holm. Four Shaolin Challengers with Bruce Young. The Guy from Harlem with Loy Hawkins. The Guy with the Secret Kung Fu with, for, with Meng Fei. Hands of Death with Rock Tian. The Headhunter with Chao Yun Fat. Uh-huh. Heroes of Shaolin Part 1 and 2 with Chen Jing. Image of Bruce Lee with 
Bruce Lee, the L I, <laughs> not the other one. The imitator. Yes, the bo- the Impossible Kid with Wang Wang, Infernal Street with L- Yu Tin Lung, Jive Turkey with Paul Harris, <laughs> Karate Kids USA with Charles Lane, Kung Fu Arts with Carter Wong, Kung Fu Kids Break Away with Wang Li- Yi Leung, Legend of the Eight Samurai with Sonny Chiba. The wow. Master Max and the Master Time Out, Out of Time Step, both with Lee Van Cleef. Ninja Champion with Bruce Barron. Ninja Death 1, 2, and 3 with Lo Yu. <laughs> Ninja Empire with Mike Abbott. Ninja Heat with Chan Sheng. Ninja the Protector with Richard Harrison. Ninja <laughs> Wars with Sonny Chiba. The Real Bruce Lee with The Real Bruce Lee. Return of the Kung Fu Dragon with Sing Chen. Shadow Ninja with Steve Tung Wai. Shaolin Deadly Kicks with Dorian Tan. Shaolin Temple with Chu Feng. Snake Fist Dynamo with Eric Yi. The Snake, the Tiger, and the Crane with Carter Wong. The Spirits of Bruce Lee with Michael Chan. Tiger Love with Hu Chin. TNT Jackson with Jian Bell. And Weapons of Death with Eric Lee. So, Yay. I don't really like... <laughs> these are one of those ones that are in the envelopes like this. And I really, I really don't like that. I don't... This is probably not a particularly high uh, level of um, effort that went into putting this together. But, like I said, for a quick, easy, cheap way to r- majorly expand my martial arts collection. It's <laughs> like yes. every dime store martial arts exactly. movie wrapped up into yes. one set. <laughs> so, that was kind of fun. <laughs> my gosh. So, my next one is one we've present you present not too long ah, ago. Oak Goes In. Fun film. I found an eBay listing for 10 bucks. I said, you know what? I will bid for ten bucks. It was free shipping. Most most of them were trying to sell for seventeen or up. Yeah. And I paid nobody bid, so I paid ten. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to go much into this. It's been gone over before. Mm-hmm. It's a fun one. Check I out last it. week's video on the twenty nineteen films. <laughs> it was a very good film. It did it did deserve more praise than it got. Which was none. It, well, no, it actually got a lot of praise from some of the Asian academies. But well, I'm you talking know, about like American. Academy. I know. Yeah. <laughs> stupid, stupid uh, Oscars. <laughs> so my last two are both pretty big. They're both shows. Well, they're physically large, <laughs> but they're both shows <laughs> that I was interested in getting, and I was very amused, uh, interested to find them at the library, super cheap. One of them's a little beat up, but I couldn't pass it up. And that is this one. This is As Time Goes By. Ah, cool. BBC production starring Judi Dench and Jeffrey Palmer. I've seen, I think, a couple episodes of this, and it was a pretty good show. (laughs) I think it is, yeah. But it's like... I mean, look at that. That is a nice set. That's a nice set. It's a little beat up, especially right up here, but... You know, yeah, I'm sure mm-hmm. this would probably be like 150 bucks at Barnes and Noble if I were to hazard yeah. a guess. The room that um, would take up. <laughs> but yeah, this does take up a lot of space, but whatever. And Judy Dench, of course, is one of our great actresses. Mm-hmm. It'll be nice to see her in a long-running <clears throat> series as a, a nice change of pace. But like I said, I could not pass that up. <laughs> so the last of the consolidation pieces today I have is. Oddly enough, only one of these I could find floating around. There were three iterations Mm. Mm. of um, After Dark Horror Fest. Mm -hmm. And the third one actually did have a consolidated set, which was kind of cool. So that consolidates all of those films. And After After Dark Horror Fest was, I think it had four iterations. Three main iterations, so this was the last of the main ones. And essentially the concept was it was a bunch of horror films that were too much... For censors to allow in the theaters. So they came up with this horror kind of um, con in a sense mm-hmm. where they would have these film festivals with all these films showing and they travel around, people would dress up, it was you know a good yeah. time held by. I always wanted to go to one. And uh, the fourth one was kind of a try to revamp. I've only got Lumberjack Man 
than there from that one. Mm. Which is funny because about a, a guy in a park slaughtering people with a pile of pancakes, he drives behind him. It's just, uh, I had to get that one. But mm. they, they don't fall in price, so I, I gotta get those eventually. Mm -hmm. But on this are these Autopsy. I got the reticular covers of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, broken. Mm. Butterfly Effect 3. Mm. Kind of hate losing the reticular covers, but you do what you can. Mm -hmm. Dying Breed. From Within. Slaughter. Perkins 14. Hmm. And finally, Voices. Hmm. So, there's some fun ones there. This is actually an Asian horror, by the way. I thought it might be. And, um, again, I did this for room consolidation. Yes, they're pretty cool covers. Mm -hmm. But, compare. <laughs> yeah. This is probably the most consolidation I have done in this particular one. So, if you think about it, mm -hmm. let's take a look at the end results. Mm -hmm. This. Yeah. Versus. Hold on. This. Yep. So, the one I got replacing it comes up to where my thumb is. Yeah. So, that's quite a bit of consolidating. Yep. And I'm kind of happy with that. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'll probably put that as the photo again of me consolidating mm -hmm. at the end. But you've got one more, and I've got one I more. I have got one more, and it's an exciting one. And this is one that I probably will eventually end up consolidating. Hmm. In fact, it very recently got a consolidated release, but I could not pass it up for the price. It is an essential that was th thus far missing from my collection. So I'm more than happy to have a placeholder while I'm waiting to get this smaller version. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, is the Nickelodeon classic Avatar. Ah, cool. The complete series. Which, you know, this is a slight condensation. Again, yeah. this box is kind of beat up too, which is one reason I would like to eventually consolidate. Yeah. But it is an essential. Hey, it's and less I than mine not, takes up. Yeah. And if you've never seen the show, it's awesome. You need oh, yeah. to see it. <laughs> I'm hoping to get, eventually, they have one that's about that size. that has mm -hmm. both Avatar and Korra. Yeah, that I and think was both a recent the Blu-ray. Yeah. That's the one I really want to do, and uh, because mm -hmm. it takes less room one, and it would be cool to have both series on Blu-ray. I never and, did finish Korra. And because my Korra collection is also beat up because... It was given to me as a gift, and they bought one of the ones that had the little wires wrapped around Dope. it. And yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, that two pack is pretty tempting. So this is one I've been meaning to show for a while, and that is for We Are Many. Mm -hmm. now, I did a review on this, but it's not coming up for a number of weeks yet because I forgot that uh, Evil Dead Trap is coming up this Saturday. Then the next Saturday is Evil Dead Trap Two. Mm. Which we did inside movies galore ones on. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is an anthology horror. It was, um, I think it was an Indiegogo campaign. Mm -hmm. It's got a really cool box. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is pretty cool. The only issue is the DVD and the Blu ray are not easily marked. I mean, which one of these is the Blu ray? Hmm. Good question. Exactly. Mm. So. This one is the Blu-ray, okay, and this one is the DVD. Mm. So, Blu-ray, mm. DVD. Cool. It has some pretty good extras on it, and the films are very competently done. Mm. This is not just basic shot on ho on on horror on a video. This is pretty darn good stuff, and they have a couple of films and scenes in these that are actually pretty creepy. On top of that. One of our Inside Movies Galore alums, Dane Kyle, directs The Slaughtering Grounds, which is one of the films on this set. So I had more than one reason to support this film. Mm -hmm. It's good to support a friend of the channel. Uh, we are thankful for your participation. <laughs> and thankful for the really cool movie. Mm -hmm. 
So with that, I guess that's it. Do you have anything else? That's it for this go round. All right. <laughs> so we will see you on the next one. Bye.